so what are we going to get into today? Well, today is really our first update on our shelf stable samples. All right. Uh, so we're just going to look at each one. We're just going to be doing a visual check this time. I'm a little scared to open them up. But anyway, this will be uh, just a visual check, see how they're looking, and I'll let you know what they come. It's been three weeks. It's a day shy of three weeks. All right. So, but first things first. Welcome to Stewart's and Bro. My name is Randy, and this is a channel that's all about home distillation, bro. All right. So let's check our apple uh, first. All right. That's she. Should we go from the high down? Okay, let's do that. All right. This is the forty percent. Hey, it, really no change. All right. Thirty. I don't see no change either. Uh, 20. I mean, yeah, you get a little sediment, but that's that's normal in anything. But I don't really see nothing growing. All right, now we're down to 10%. Uh, I don't really see anything growing in it. It looks just normal. I mean, it does have a little bit of sediment, but that's, like I said before, that is natural. Uh, here's 5%. All right, uh, can you see that? Look normal, and here's no with no alcohol at all. This is all just apple juice and stuff. I, I like. I, I'm starting to see a little bit of, and I don't know if that's something growing or just sediment. There is little hunks in it. Uh, we'll give it some time. Like I said, it's only been three weeks, but uh, you know, there's more sediment than that in anything, and I do see a couple little things floating around. But not yet. All right. Well, now here is the ones that I was going to really look. All right. Let's start at forty percent alcohol. Well, visually, it looks just like milk. But I am seeing a little bit of like curdle milk floating, and that's at forty percent alcohol. So. I think the next time we'll do a snip test, but I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to lose my breakfast. Alright, so here's 30%. It looks very similar. I mean, it's, it's got some, look like hunks in it. And they don't sh shake out. So, I would say it's starting to curdle a little bit. Now, you remember, this has been left at room temperature. Uh... And this is on week three. Okay, here's 20%. It's looking a little bit thicker. I see a little bit more clumps. 10%. Um, it, and I, like I said, I'm seeing more and more clumpiness. So I'm assuming it's starting to curdle go bad. Ooh, gross. Now, if we would have kept this in the refrigerator, it would probably last a little bit longer, but uh, uh, here's 5%. This is 5% alcohol. I, I don't even need, see how it is all clumped up. Uh, it's separating the, I guess, would that be way? I ain't sure. But it's, I mean, it's a clumped up mess. Ew. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even take the lid off. That's the smell. Of it. Now here's the control. The, the uh, no alcohol at all. Ready? Ugh. <laughs> uh, that would definitely make you sick. No doubt in my mind. All right, and like I said, if it was in the refrigerator, yes, it would last longer. Maybe we need to do a test on that after we get this information. I've been writing everything down. Uh, so at this present time, at week three, the milk product basically has no shelf life, not on the shelf. Refrigerated, maybe. Well, I've, refrigerated, yes, because I've had it in the refrigerator for a while, but this test was you know, just at room temperature. Uh, the, the apple, yeah, that all looks fantastic. I wouldn't be afraid probably drinking any of them. 
But would, but would you drink that? Can you see that? Ew. Gross. All right. We'll give it another month and we're going to see what happens. And uh, I just wanted to bring this one out a little bit early so you could see what was going on. So this is our update number one on this test. And uh, we'll be back. Hey, the last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody.